What's up YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pass the security plus. Let's get into it. CompTIA doesn't give us any prerequisites that we need um, to take the test but there are a few different caveats to this. Um, before this certification there's the network plus and then there's the A plus before that. Uh, this all depends on your past experience. For me, I already had uh, my foot in the door with my degree, um, so I didn't feel the need to take the Network Plus or the A Plus. This may be different for you. Um, we'll go through the A Plus and the Network Plus and kind of give you a better look into what are some of the objectives, and then maybe you can just make a personal decision for yourself to see if maybe you need the A Plus and the Network Plus, or maybe you just think you need the Network Plus. So this is going to be your A plus from CompTIA. Uh, this is somebody who has virtually no IT background. You may want to consider this before uh, getting your security plus. Uh, this is going to give you some uh, basic troubleshooting, uh, some minimal, minimum security, uh, networking, uh, how to identify hardwares, um, OSs, installations and configurations of laptops and other mobile devices. Um, as you can see down here, this is going to get you like help text technicians jobs, system support technicians jobs, all those kind of roles here. Um, if you're taking this as a prereq to security, you're not really doing it to obtain one of these if your ultimate goal is security, but this is going to give you a great foundation for your security plus. Many of you may have these basics down like I did. I was in college already, so I moved straight to the security plus, but some of you may want to take a look at the networks of plus as well which is the next step after this a plus so let's move on to that one so next up we have the network plus which a lot of you might want to gravitate towards before you want to take your security plus it's a great foundation of networking i uh, can really help you a lot so i would highly suggest it um, i personally did not um, but i do think it would have done great value to me if i had taken it this is going to give you a re real clear fundamental knowledge of networking. Um, this is going to give you some implementations, operations, uh, some troubleshooting, which is key. You may not think so, but in security, there's a lot of troubleshooting. So you are going to know, um, need to know how the network uh, interacts, how the devices interact with each other, different protocols. Um, the OSI model, uh, that's all vital for security. So uh, I would not pass up on this. Um, but if you do think you're you know, ahead of the game, then uh, go ahead for the uh, Security Plus. Uh, th again, this these kind of certifications, they're just going to give you um, some roles down here that you could potentially fill with this, um, with network engineer, a systems administrator, a NOC technician. Uh, this certification here is going to run you about $358. Uh, of course, you have add-on options for uh, retakes and uh, things like that. Some of the main tools that I use for the Security Plus is going to be dumbed down to two things pretty much. Uh, the first is going to be the Daryl Gibson's Security Plus book. Uh, this book was my n number one use tool for the security plus uh, I think it got me about 80% of the way there there were a few other tools that I used to help me along the way but this was number one uh, here it is right here um, it is um, you know fairly cheap in, in comparison to a lot of other textbooks out there and it is highly recommended um, at the end of each chapter in this book you're gonna get a quiz um, I went through each one of these quizzes and made sure that I got 100% by the end of this book on all my quizzes. And if I got one or two wrong, I, you know, I let it slide, for, but for the most part, I wanted to get 100%. In the back of the book, there's also a, um, a full-size uh, exam prep test. Um, now this one, you know, you really want to get this down. This has a collection of everything that you just learned in the book. And it was something that I had taken a few times until I felt very comfortable with it. Also wanted to add, uh, if you go into the Daryl Gibson book, um, there's going to be a number of definitions in there and acronyms. Um, somebody had told me when I first started, you need to know all the acronyms to pass this test. That's not, it's just not true. 
Uh, so don't get yourself stressed out like I did. Uh, I, I when I went through that book and seen all of those de- definitions and those acronyms, um, you know, I, I was scared <laughs> to be honest with you. I never thought I would be able to get all of them memorized, and you don't have to. You need a basic understanding of them um, and their their function, but you don't need to know every single acronym. Just try to get a good grasp on a majority of them, and you should be just fine. So another tool that I wanted to introduce you guys to is going to be um, if you go to udemy.com, there is a great section of uh, practice exams from Jason Dion. Now, Jason Dion gives you as well um, a whole course um, for those, again, who are more visual that would uh, better be served from that option. Uh, For me, I used the practice exams and man, they helped me so much. Um, he says to get an 80%. Be realistic with yourself. You're not going to get 80% on all of them. Um, I got like 70, I think, on um, a few of them. And uh, that was good enough for me right before I passed the test. And I passed the test, uh, uh, you know, with flying colors. Uh, so um, now that may not be the same for everybody, for but for the most part, you don't need an 80%. Um, on every single test to feel like you can take the exam i just get close to that um so yeah so if we click this you could see that these are um fairly cheap um these go on sale very often uh this one right now is at 12 dollars. you could see here so this is another great tool um if you want to use something more visual um as well as these practice tests so just piggybacking here off Jason Dion, um, it, he does have an amazing Facebook page too that I've used and I still uh, use. Um, and in this Facebook page, there's a great um, group of people in here uh, that are all just trying to learn. And um, he posts a lot of Security Plus questions in here. You can post some questions in here that you may be struggling with. And, and I'm almost certain um, a multiple number of people will respond and help you out. Uh, so this is great. Uh, you can see here he's got Network Plus, um, some A-plus questions. Uh, so check this out. When it comes to test day, uh, there's a few things that you could do to really help yourself and get your mind on the right track. Uh, the first thing is choose ahead of time uh, a date to take this exam. Don't uh, keep pushing it off and say, you know, I'll schedule next month or I'll schedule next month. Give yourself dedicated time to study and then a dedicated date to take the exam. Whether that be three months out, two months out, four months out, what have you. Uh, it's a very important. Next choice you have is do you want to take this in person or online? I myself, I have a far better time taking exams online uh, in my own space. Uh, just be um, weary of your actions. You're not allowed to be on your cell phone or anything of that nature. They will disqualify you and I would hate to see that happen. As far as exam day, make sure you eat something in the morning, not too much to bog you down, but enough to give you some energy. And as you're going through this exam, if there are questions you're not comfortable with, just just skip them. You can always go back to them later. Um, A lot of times people get hung up on questions and then they don't have any time at the end to finish the rest. So you don't want to do that. My final recommendation. During this test, you will feel like you're failing. I felt like that. Multiple people I know who have taken this exam have also felt like that. And you will get down on yourself and you will think you're failing. Just keep continuing to go. You will get to the end of the test. And I'm sure if you've done the things that I've outlined and really got yourself there, you should have no problem. Um, It's a common theme. People feel like they're failing during this test, but I winded up passing and I, you know, I was jumping for joy. So don't get down on yourself. You will do just fine. I believe in you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, like and subscribe. Thank you guys.